What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome to another Let's Play series. Today's game is brought to you by Activision. And Crystal Dynamics. I think they actually got bought out by somebody. And putting the magic back into software. Silicon Knights. They actually aren't around anymore. I believe they went bankrupt. Concept story and content of Kane were created by Silicon Knights. And welcome to Blood Omen Legacy of Kane for the PS1. Copyright 1996. All those other companies I just said. Let's do options. Do controls first. Attack, magic, action, forms. That's fine. Volume. Sound music. That's fine too. I'll worry about everything else later. Start game. There is a magical operation of maximum importance. The initiation of a new aeon. When it becomes necessary to utter a word, the whole planet must be bathed in blood. That's not very nice. Oop. Someone's been busy. Killing vampires and shit. Got how gross those graphics were back in '96. Oof. That was just yuck. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry your ass up, dude. Call your dogs! They can feast on your corpses! Sucks for you, dude. You should have hurried your ass up. You have but one one of us, damn warrior. You, you will serve, serve us, us for eternity. eternity. The tavern's closing. Best be on your way, stranger. What? No mug of ale for a weary traveller from distant Corhagen? I can reward you well, for I am of noble blood. I stay open for no man in these dark times. Things come with the night that no sane man would welcome. And so I left. Cold of heart and soul. Forced to the road and the long, bitter night. Doki. That's him. Man, people are trying to murder you in the face. Going inside doesn't do anything. That's a lot of people. Jesus. 
got like nine fucking people to try to kill you. End it now. And there's really nothing you can do. They'll just keep sending more and more after you, as if you have to die because magic, I guess. I was like, you motherfuckers. They just stuck it in and just left it there. Fay Victus. Suffering to the conquered. Ironic that now I was the one suffering. Not anything as pedestrian as physical pain. Rather the cruel jab of impotent anger. The hunger for revenge. I didn't care if I was in heaven or hell. All I wanted was to kill my assassins. Sometimes, you get what you wish for. The necromancer Mortanius offered me a chance for vengeance, and like a fool, I jumped at his offer without considering the cost. Nothing is free, not even revenge. will have the blood you hunger for. I awoke to the pain of a new existence in a dank womb of darkness and decay. Alrighty then, and welcome to Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. I'm kind of counting this as the official start of it. So, you watch a bunch of vampires get murdered, or killed, I should say. Some other vampire comes along and kills them. And then some other chick gets murdered, and then you get murdered. So Jesus Christ, that's like a dozen people right there. And the game didn't even start yet. You wake up in a crypt at your own grave. It's like, okay, whatever, I guess. Select button. Here's options, go to world map. Brings up the entire map, like right off the bat. All the places you can go. Like Malik's Bastion, Oracle, something, something, Willendorf, whatnot. Uh, the yellow arrow is where you are, and the flashing blue is where you need to be. Looks like it says Pillars of Nosgoth. Get out of that. Dark Diary just shows you a list of the full motion animations that you've seen thus far. The little CGI movies or whatever the hell you'd want to call it. Status just brings up a list of um, how many people you've killed, how many times you've fed. Uh, mutilations or um, certain weapons, items, and spells will actually kill the enemies differently. Some will cause them to explode, some will cause them to liquefy, some will cause them to um, disintegrate. That's all counted under um, mutilation. You have secrets, which don't really do anything other than just getting them. Time played. Uh, game usually starts at um, four days and seventeen hours, like from the crypt. Whew. As you can see, it can go well into like the triple digits. I mean, if you've played for anything more than like 40 50 days and well probably shouldn't be really playing then prestige um doesn't do anything either it's just a rank that's based off your slayings meals and mutilations uh that goes from whelp all the way to i want to say it's like the world destroyer or something like that or world devourer or something like that, but like I said, it doesn't do anything other than just getting that rank. Prestige, whatever. So that carb doesn't do anything. 
Did all those. I'm not doing credits. Okay, so that's done. Start menu. Brings up your status, or your inventory and shit like that. Items, armory, and spells. That was loud. I don't know why my phone keeps doing that. It's fucking annoying. I don't have any items yet, or spells. Iron sword. But weapons and armor, it'll give you a... Iron armor. It'll tell you what it is, and when you press circle... As it was born from hellfire, forged by the necromancer's magic, my armor resists fire and provides me with strong defense. I'll give you a brief description about what the armor, but what the item is and what it does. Like in that case, like fire increases fire resistance and uh, strong physical defense. Iron sword. Forged by the Serioli, the legendary weapon masters of Nosgoth, this blade will serve me well in life and beyond. And just like standard attack. It'll do the same thing for all the items and spells. Can't do anything yet for any of that, so just get out of that. L1 zooms the map in and out. L2 brings up a full map of the screen that you're in. R1 can't do anything yet. L2 can't do anything yet. And everything you pick up will be on icon cards, and you'll just pick up whatever it says on it. The Sanctuary spell enables me to travel to my crypt, where the soil of my grave provides me respite. I often resort to this when I am weak and need nourishment. Your first spell, so basically it just transports you back here. But now that I have my first spell... Press the R1 button and it'll bring up your spell menu, or your quick spell menu. You can have up to five spells selected in here that you could use for quick use. Uh, that menu on the right side of the screen is your status box. The sarcophagus that has a picture of you in it shows your current weapon and armor configuration. Uh, the spell box right underneath it has whatever spell or item equipped. The red meter is your blood vial, which is your life. Obviously it gets down to zero, you die again, or you re-die, or whatever the fuck it'd be called. Um, slowly goes down over time, so you have to keep feeding. Uh, also goes down with rain and uh, touch water and when you're attacked. And uh, also poison. You have poison in here. The little globe looking thing on the other side is your magic meter, but you don't have any magic right now. Ah, uh, fucking bitch. Reputed to have been ripped from the chest of the greatest vampire to have ever existed, Janos Audron, the heart of darkness restores vampiric unlife. Life is precious, Janos discovered, as it was torn, throbbing and bleeding from his own body. Uh, every so often you'll come across chained prisoners and dungeons and whatnot. They don't really do anything except it's just free food. You just press whatever your feed button is. Might happen to be the circle button. This ancient vial bears with it a dark gift indeed, for with it, my life force is increased. These ancient symbols of power contain raw magical energy that increases my own capacity to summon energy for the spawning of spells. So now that I have magic, my little globe thingy turned blue and I have magic now. Magic will slowly regenerate over time or if you pick up one of these. And lastly, you have your sundial, which tells you the time of day. Well, right now it's like, you know, the moon's out, so it's nighttime. So I'm going to dial should be about 10 o'clock at night right now. Within the walls of these chambers, I could find respite. And if I so chose, resume my journey when my weariness abated. Is that just a fancy way of saying save spot? 
go ahead and just save I'll just save over whatever that one was When rainfall comes, vampires are wise to find shelter from its acidic touch. See, like in here, it's... <laughs> it's just water in general, it's not just, uh... Holy water, or blessed water, or shit like that. Rain, and snow... Actually walking in water and shit like that. Uh, that's a blood beaker that restores life, but I can't get to it. devices hurl bolts of whirling energy and eviscerate my human enemies by stripping ragged flesh from blood-stained bone. And if you actually position yourself right, you can actually double tap it and get, you know, suck them both at the same time. Blood. Suck blood. Yeah, that's what I meant. Hunger and weakness are no bar to vengeance's call. I would find my slayers and send them back whence I came. Every so often in a cemetery when you step in front of certain uh, graves, a ghoul will come out and you just kill it like you would a regular enemy. <coughs> <coughs> Their sneering faces were forever etched upon my memory. I had crossed death for this moment. My mind was empty save for one thought. I would kill. There he is! 
I'll kill him! Kill you, bastard! Like sir, if we put you down once, we could do it again. <coughs> what trickery is this? <coughs> there is no greater release than that from vengeance sated. With my assassins dead, my quest was over. <coughs> Tis not over, Cain. These fools were merely the instruments of your murder, not the cause. Look to their masters, look to the pillars, and gain way to the fortress of the mind. Okay, the world had changed to my eyes. I had not expected such cruelty from the light. For in the embrace of the sun I could find no comfort, only malice. This would change in time for the worse, along with other things. Okay, so you killed the people who killed you, but now you're trying to find out why you were killed. Uh... This was where the bloody deed of my murder took place. And I... that's one thing I didn't like about this game. Well, not really didn't like about it, it was just annoying. That, like, towns and shit have, like, jacked up names like that. Like... Zigsterl, I guess you would pronounce it like that. And Corhagen and Stenchin Crow and the the vast uh the uh, uh, fuck it something in places like that. It's like yeah, makes my things hurt. Okay, yeah, I guess it would be a good place to call it. Uh, when we come back, I guess I'll head back to Zigsterl and find out who the fuck did that and why. And then just go from there. So until then, this is Save Knight on Let's Play Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Later, guys.